Whoa, I think it's live in your room now. Is it me? What's up, everybody? This here is Bliss. You're watching Hannah's Field. Dig in. Yeah, man. So dig in is an opportunity for us to share a conversation um, through the internet uh, with a meal. So we've already pre-cooked the meal, just like on most food shows, you get to watch them cook it, and then never get to watch them eat it. This food show, you get to watch us eat our food. So we're going to eat our food tonight, chill out with David Dip, a good friend of ours, uh, who did the uh, album art for our new album, Crystal Vision. What did you make me tonight? I oh, wait. Make, I, I didn't make anything. I'm just serving it up. I just warmed it up. <laughs> Anna cooked tonight. Um, <laughs> she cooked a bang of butter and a squash soup. I just added some coconut milk to it. Oh, I'm glad you did that. Pureed it, and that was it. Um, it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to spoon that up, and I'll meet you over there in the dining room. That sounds good. Blessings, y'all. Hey, let us know how the sound's going on right now. Is it is it going okay? Hi, Joel. Hi, Beatrice. Much love. You made it to dig in. Blessings, y'all. Uh, we're so excited. We're going to talk about um, Mr. David Dip Solion. We're going to bring him on, but we're just going to do a little introduction. Um, this is the, the wonderful artist who uh, rocked our album art, and we're so excited to sort of preview the album art and just talk about this wonderful, beautiful being and his creations. Um, yeah, so David Dip, AKA Soul Lion, is a visual artist living and creating in Albany, New York. Currently, he's building and bringing to life custom paintings, murals, apparel, and visions that awaken the soul and provide a vibration, eye-opening, and bold. It's so true. You see this man's art and you're just like, I don't know, it awakens like spirit in me immediately, like immediately. Uh, it is his mission to continue to create every day while aligning the mind, the body, and the spirit to activate visual truth fire that is very much needed in this time. So shall we call him on? What are you trying to do? I can move you over here, friend. <laughs> We're going to call on Mr. David Dipp. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes. It's the, the crystal vision. <laughs> yes, I. Yo, of course, you got to see this man. You got to see what this man is just bringing into full creation. What? <laughs> yeah, boy. Big love. Big love. Big love. Oh, so one love, crystal vision. Yeah. Yes. It's like, I love it. <laughs> Man, it's, it's so like alive. so alive. It's yes. so alive. Black things, blessed love. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're going to eat tonight? Are you going to eat a crystal for dinner? Is that is that how you get to be so in alignment? <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that's just um, the art is... It heals me while I create it, and I don't know. It helps awaken myself. Um, so I, I feel blessed to be able to be a vessel for the visions to flow through, and just kind of bring them out into this planet and this reality. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's a joy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Happy to be Beautiful. We're happy. We're so happy we could get you on. What are you? What are you having for? What are you having for dinner tonight over there? Did you get? Did you get time to make some food? I did. Uh, had just enough time actually, and it was basically, what do I have right here in the moment? I'll just make that, and it worked out pretty good because uh, I have some tofu and some potatoes and some rice and avocado and tomato cut up on the side. So. Oh, that sounds banging. <laughs> it was, oh, yeah, so, banging. Stuff and so luckily I had I had that to just kind of whip up real quick. Oh, yeah. Man, I tell, I tell, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, beautiful. Excellent. Well, that is a good that is a good source of of food. So, you know, in our family, we always we 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 cheers. So, cheers to you. <laughs> Love. We're happy to have you here on Dig In and in, in our home as close as we can get to it right now, you know? Blessings yeah. to everybody who's there and give thanks to the gardens who, yeah. who grew this uh, beautiful squash and ginger and, mm -hmm. you know, we have two. Or, did you talk about these greens that we got going no, on? No, I didn't say anything about those. Um, this mm. is... Um, uh, Aaron Earth, one of our friends, who's an artist also and a uh, awesome musician, gave me this plant. It's it's Kalalu. It's not the same Kalalu. Like Jamaican it's Kalaloo. not the Jamaican Kalalu, but it's this big plant. It kind of looks like amaranth, and it's so good. Um, and it grows crazy. So we grill it up with some coconut oil and some garlic on the grill, and it crisps up. And yeah, it's like chips. I mean, some people would say not really like Pringles, but <laughs> I think so. I'm buying them. <laughs> I think so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So here yep. we are. You are digging in. This is a big week for for you, both of you, and everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah, man. Friday, releasing Crystal Vision. You know, it's exciting. You know, you you see the package. You know, you know. There's a lot of um, parts and pieces. A lot of art going on with it. I mean, it took a lot of effort. Yeah, man. There it is. Ooh, it took a lot of effort and energy to get this thing together. You know. Yeah, the grid. Nice, the grid. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. It looks nice. good. Yeah. I, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, really. <clears throat> Like just incredible work of love that you put together here. <laughs> I'm I'm amazed to see it like all in one package. Yeah, it's something special. So um, if anyone who's watching hasn't yet gotten one, you should definitely do so because yeah. it's I don't know. There's there's so much uh, soul and love put into it. You can feel it. And yeah, it's very, there's I don't know, just, just a lot of intention as well. So I think people will get a lot out of it. You know, the music speaks for itself, but also the the added bonus of, you know, the, yeah, the grid, the crystals, like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. So. Oh, man, and cool. To be like, to be featured on the, the front. That's yeah, awesome. come on, man. Honor. <laughs> man we were so blessed to have you and you know you were such a big big part of the the creation um yeah so i'd love to just like kind of dive in and um just just share with people like how how this all started which is kind of fun because we get to go back and and think about how First, we all connected. Um, Harvest Hill or something like that. It was literally like a year ago, wasn't it? Harvest Ball. Oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah, a year ago to this, almost to this day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might have been. Yep. Wow. Couldn't be more perfect timing, I would say. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's some alignment right there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we go to this um, Harry Brown's farm or Harry's Hill as they call it in Starks, Maine. If anybody's ever been there, big ups to the Harry Brown family. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. That was like one of the biggest, I would say like my biggest heartbreak of a festival that just because it's like super family, you know, it's, it's, yeah. we've, I don't know, I guess we've been, it's, it's maybe been a decade that we've been going down there. Wow. Um, yeah, this year was like trying any way possible. Like we could just go up there and sleep on the land and come back home. We could just, hey man, we could do a live podcast. Hey man, we could just go up there and watch the sun yeah. and the stars. Yeah, our bass player, the John, was really, man. it was just like, we need to go. We just need to touch the land. Gotta go. I'm wondering, oh. wondering how many people just like sort of showed up and tried to just like hang out. <laughs> They, oh, I'm sure they had a few. Guerrilla warfare. Yeah, at least, at least. Now, what brought you to that land? That one was the first time you. Oh wow! And... It was. It was actually. It's pretty interesting. Last, 
last summer, um, I got invited to a good amount of festivals around the Northeast, and I hadn't re really done too many in Maine, but I started getting in, uh, getting invited to some, and I heard about Harry's Hill, and I was told that I just had to go, no matter what. So, I guess I um, somehow we we connected through emails and whatnot, and, um, and they invited me to do a mural and like set up art, you know, just. Nice. Uh, um, I don't know. I guess through mutual contacts and whatnot. So. Yeah, said, that yeah, first it was time, my first time. In the, yeah, that first time that you went. Now, doing a mural, did you do it on something that was like standing? Was it something that was an, a, a forever piece there? Or is it something that was just there, they take out for festivals? How did that happen? What was that like? Um, I guess it, it, they had kind of a wall built. Um, and yeah, so it was kind of, I guess it was temporary. It was there for maybe a couple months and then the next uh the next event they had it was painted with another mural so oh. i think a few of those were temporary walls yeah but yeah it was i felt like i was home as soon as i got there they're you know super welcoming and everything and took care of me yeah. so i was yeah. like this is a beautiful place I, you know met some beautiful people and then um, so I think the first time I went there was in August and of last year and painted a mural, set up a whole art um, booth and everything. And then I ended up painting a car while I was there. Oh, that's that, that car picture? Yeah. Oh, that, oh, God. that was like, car? <laughs> like somebody you knew or just randomly? No, just uh, somebody I met there. He came through with his friends and saw my art booth and I was working on this live painting and it was of a lion roaring. And I guess he felt that and it vibed with him. So he's like, hey, I'll bring a car tomorrow and you can paint it. <laughs> and wow. it, just, it just ended up happening and stepped into that like creation portal. And like 24 hours later, he was driving home with a fully painted like sports car. It was yeah. pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. So then I had to come back in uh, October for the Harvest Ball, I believe um, we might have Hannah. You might we. I think we like crossed paths. You said at Wormtown, like yeah. Like, I don't know if we actually. I'm trying to think if we actually met. I remember it, there was you had a you had a, a big lion on the outside, and yeah. wow, I just like stopped in my tracks, and, and Bliss was wasn't with me because I was singing with the uh, Desert Rain. I was and he was he was out. I don't know what you were doing. You were somewhere. And, uh, but I immediately thought of him and I was just like, wow, I wish you could see this. Like, this is so amazing. Whoa. And you were doing a lot of live painting. So I, I randomly saw you do, I'm like, oh, that's that guy. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was oh, wow. stoked on your art. The minute I saw it, um, it just literally oh. stopped me in my tracks. Um, but yeah, I don't think we actually met Matt until, until okay. Harry. Yeah. So Harvest Ball then. Harvest yeah, Ball. See before and everything, yeah. and we connected there. And yeah, it was definitely, it was meant to happen, you know. I guess it was kind of just the right place at the right time. And there's, I don't know, there's, I don't think there's many better places than Harry's Hill to build a connection like, like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's so true. it's so true and it's cool i know i noticed last time that you guys were doing a lot of um art collaborations together i noticed uh, just like a really cool group of, of artists sitting and painting together all weekend like i know you know katrina yeah. um carlson yes. was one of them and i i don't i don't remember who else was there i remember her specifically um and um yeah yeah, what's like how how does how how is that? What's that like? And like what was that something you guys just did naturally or was like that something that was planned or well I guess uh we had met um earlier in the summer at the previous festival. So and we you know we all kinda um really got to know each other over that, you know, that week. 
um, and suggested, you know, next time we should collaborate and just go all in, paint all weekend. And that's what we ended up doing. So it was kind of, you know, after meeting everyone the first time I was there, I'm like, yeah, I would love to paint with everyone. And we kind of yeah. just made it happen. And I think every time we kind of get together now, or especially at Harry's Hill, we'll probably kind of do that same kind of vibe where we just all <clears throat> find time throughout the whole weekend and just create some art together. Cause that's, it's, that's such a beautiful thing to do with other artists who are, you know, just kind of open to that creative energy and building something together. And I don't know, you'd surprise yourself. Sometimes you get inspired by the artists you're working with and, you know, push yourself further or just experiment, try something new. And, you know, the energy that, you know, collaboration brings is pretty unique. So it wouldn't oh. happen without bulls coming together. So I cherish that yeah. and look forward yeah. to more. <laughs> Yeah, do you feel like when like you go home after you do a collaboration like that? Um, like I know when I go to a festival and I get to if we're playing and we get to see so many amazing bands, you know, I go home really inspired and, and really um just influenced by everybody that I saw. Do you do you notice like shifts in your art in your own art? Um, whether it's like you're you're conscious of it or not, like do you notice your art sort of changing as you as you paint with those other people? Hmm. You know, that's, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm inspired by, I go, I would say everyone I meet, you know, every day, you know, there's something to be inspired by. Um, so linking up with other artists and musicians is a hundred percent fully inspiring to me. So especially like a gathering of many people with all, you know, all that energy kind of, going around and then <clears throat> if I'm able to, you know, come forward with my art and uh, kind of work on something there and then, you know, immediate interaction with the crowd and people passing by is always inspiring. So I can definitely say that I would, after last year and the previous years, you know, meeting different artists and musicians, um, I would say my work has elevated and progressed a lot. And I definitely take to heart, you know, the the connections I've made throughout um, these art and music festivals. So it is definitely, it's impacted, you know, my life pretty much every day. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool to see that over time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How have you been, um like filling filling back up. You've you've gone to some some smaller gatherings and painted a little bit, or I think I noticed. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, this year, yeah, it's been it's been kind of few and far between, but there has been some local things, um, kind of some local art vending setups that we've been able to do on the street here, um, and. Uh, so, it did, uh, like back yeah, home, um, you yeah, oh my goodness. Stuff. It's actually, uh, it's like last year I did so many um, live murals and stuff. Like every week I was doing, almost doing a new one. And so I was kind of curious how this season would develop. But <clears throat> when, um, when there was riots in the streets and, you know, businesses were either closing down or, you know, boarding up their windows, you know, I kind of took, I saw that as an opportunity to spread, you know, just some creation love on the streets. And so I, I went around and started doing murals on boarded up businesses and, uh, and then kind of got involved with a whole group of artists. And we were kind of just doing that all over the city and, you know, surrounding areas. And it, just, it became a thing for, you know, a few weeks. <laughs> I was just doing street art, multiple mm -hmm. murals like every day for, so cool several you know weeks I mean? and then that kind of yeah it really like, art, art is activism you know I mean? for real it's yeah an opportunity, like uh, throw up wall quick like that to really put out something big and real like an idea uh, or you know mm. a message or a mood or whatever and it's cool that you guys just kind of went went for it and did it the art was 
really like awesome. Like it was just really cool to see like I don't know, just like spray painted flowers and stuff. I mean, you know, and then like the lines, like all the stuff you guys. I don't know. It was just it was just cool. Yeah, it was really <laughs> cool. Good vibes. But yeah, that must have brought a lot of um, just just joy and hope to to your community um, during a time that could have been. I mean, is obviously still um, mm. scary to many. Did you did you? Uh, yeah, you felt people's vibes lifted by the art. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It was almost immediately accepted and encouraged and supported by just about everyone. Um, <clears throat> people were donating paint and food and supplies and, um, you know, people were paying, ended up paying us for things and, and it, uh, so it was really embraced and I was like, okay, this is what I need to really focus on and we need to be doing all the time or at least cons as consistently as I can and uh, I kind of was able to take that momentum and um, you know turn it into a steady production of commissioned murals and um, you know paid street art jobs and uh, so yeah kind of like that was the rest of my summer was kind of working on these large scale pieces locally and kind of in the surrounding areas. Um, I did uh, murals at schools and uh, for private businesses, um, just like on public buildings on the street. Um, so yeah, I've been staying pretty, pretty busy that way and very content as I've kind of, I've always wanted to shift into that, that kind of artistic path you know just just doing large-scale work and you know just dropping murals and dropping street art as oh. much as i can oh, yeah. so yeah uh, yeah it's been an interesting <laughs> progression and the kind of the doors just opened up it, you know a lot of doors closed but you know others mm -hmm. opened up as, <laughs> as oh, always yeah. seems to be yeah, yeah and if you're, if you're, if you're, and if you're you know, it's got to be too. If, we, if you're ready to receive the infinite possibilities of anything, you know what I mean. So like, you might be in a place where you're like, ah, oh, I was so counting on this or that, and it didn't happen for me, and then like everything's like ruined. Or you could all of a sudden turn turn to the side and go, holy crap, this is right here. I got to go get into this or that. And if you're not too blinded by, you know, your only. Um, narrow 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 vision if you have a, a broader vision you know things can come to you and, and opportunities you know will show right. where, where you didn't think they were possible which is really cool yeah yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. cool cool well i would love to kind of do... I... no go ahead please oh sorry i was just gonna say sometime well i guess i've learned through experience that I just have to create my own opportunities sometimes and out of that, you know, comes many blessings and it just builds and builds. So um, that's, I, I would always tell people like, yeah, if you're not, if you're not feeling satisfied or you're not like, you know, feeling like you're getting out there enough, you know, you just create your own opportunities just find the way and it there's always it's always there and <laughs> yeah you just gotta find it mm -hmm. totally true true totally <laughs> true awesome so yeah so 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 i would love to just kind of take people through um the story of um how the album cover came together it was a process you know um it was True. Definitely. I mean, the whole thing's always a process, right? So this is Crystal Vision. Man, we were back and forth, you know, on Skype, like at least two or three times talking, and you know, like I was saying the other night, you know, I'm trying to explain like the Crystal right. Gray and all this shit. We didn't have any of it drawn. It was barely conceptualized. It was like I'm trying to explain something that's like still like in the ethers. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm like, yo, now you gotta do your part to manifest this. You know? It was it was cool because you know we didn't know um you know we didn't know David super well, you know. I mean we had met and True. as as it happens, right. you know, sometimes there's like instant, instant connections, and that's what it felt like for sure. Like cool, like we know this this yeah. brother on a soul, soul level, you know. Um mm. yeah, but it it um it was just it was an interesting process so so then it's like all of a sudden you're like calling calling somebody on the phone and and, and it's the creative process is so interesting because we didn't really we were given the vision you know and, and sky allen he was a big part of that vision and like okay the, yes. and it started with the name of the album you know it was like okay this is the name of the album the music was being made and it's like crystal vision and then okay it's gonna have a crystal grid and can we make this happen and how is this going to happen um so so david came in at this point and we're calling him on the phone we're like so yeah it's gonna come with a crystal grid and crystals and all these symbols are gonna be on the grid yeah and we're trying to and, and like we at, at the, that first conversation like we didn't know we you know like we think it's gonna be chakras it's gonna be some kind of nature symbols and you know, the way visions sometimes are presented and, and you know, a lot of artists will, will notice if they're out there listening is you're, you're given like a glimpse, right? Or it's like, or like a breadcrumb. It's just like, okay, this is what it is. Seed. Yeah, seed, yeah. And and it's pretty rare that you're given the whole entire vision. It's just almost part of um, right. like being the detective or, you know, putting, it's like putting puzzle pieces together, you know, and it's, once you start as an artist, I think like accepting that and that happens again and again, it's a little easier because you're like, okay, I'm just following these puzzle pieces and it's out of flow, even though, much. yeah, sometimes you're trying to push, but okay, back to the flow, right? And so, so we were only given this glimpse, glimpse of the crystal vision and David was so cool because, you know, he was just really chill and really open. And you, I don't know, did you think we were crazy that first time? You like, you were like, when we were trying to explain it and we had nothing to show you, know, like, what'd you think, uh, honestly? I was, uh, I was very interested. Um, I didn't think it was crazy at all, to be, to be honest. I thought it was uh, a beautiful concept and vision that just needed some time to, um you know kind of marinate i guess and crystallize you know <laughs> so yeah. i know we fourths but i i mean i could see the vision there it, it was just um a lot you wanted to kind of bring to life and uh i was taking it all in just kind of you know feeling it out and i already knew it was going to be uh, an, an amazing project to be a part of. So I, I guess at that point, I was just kind of like, all right, I just need to give this a little time to yeah. kind of settle and like, you know, become a little bit clearer. But uh, I, I thought it, it was a, a great idea that needed to come to life, so. Mm. Uh, totally, totally. And that's, yeah, and you probably from being an artist, like knew that it just needed time. You're like, I, I can see this just needs time, yeah. Um, yeah. And we knew each other because we had, I mean, the cool thing about art and music is, um, you know, we had given David some some music and we had taken some of his art at Harry Brown's. We did, I don't know, we did an exchange or something like that happened. And um, we had his art and you, I think maybe messaged me and said, maybe you painted to our music or something, but you were, you were listening to it. So it's like, you re then you really get to know somebody almost more than having just a conversation, right? It's like, right. <laughs> so you knew the vibe. You knew we weren't like just some 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 kids off the street, you know? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I mean, I I watched. I saw you guys perform at Harris Hill, so and I was yeah, I loved it. And I think I was painting at one point. Hmm. Um, while you guys were playing. So yeah, no, the vibes were already there. <laughs> the connection was already solid. <laughs> so. Yeah, so we had a conversation and then we came back. And so at that point, 
So I just want to share kind of with everybody that's watching the the journey, the artistic journey of the whole, not the whole thing, but but a part of it. So can you share with us? Um, we <laughs> we hired Bongo Bliss to create the Crystal Grid. Um, can you kind of share with us like that process and like what that sort of? Well, yeah, I mean, we had talked about a lot of ideas, you know, as far as, you know, we wanted to have a crystal grid and we wanted to have um, a seven pointed star, you know, the, the fairy star, the elven star. Um, so, you know, there was a few like ideas and then we knew like, you know, to me, I would have to like, figure out what is this crystal grid? How do you use it? What, how's it going to work? You know, what's what's kind of the, the the point of it or whatever? That's the fairy star, the elven star, by the way, which was one of the pictures we sent to David, saying this is going to be the center, the fairy star or the elven star, which has seven points. Um, yeah. So, you know, I I just sat down one day and was like, well, how do I draw a perfect seven pointed star? You can you know scribble it out, but I'm like, you know, you got to get serious about it. So. Did some research, got my compass, got a ruler out, um, and you know, figured out how to, to draw. It started with like a um, I think it's a septagon, seven-sided, uh seven seven-sided shape, and then you connect in and I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff. But it's cool. Um how did like, you know how to do that? Like, was that something new to you? Was that yeah, totally like you um, never did that before? No, totally. No. Um, you know, I, I like ex exploring with like some of the sacred geometry drawing. Like I've done, like you know, the Plutonic solids. I've done Metatron's cube. Um, yes. I did like a series of Metatron's where all the you know you highlight the the, the, pl the Plutonics in there and stuff, which are pretty cool. Um, awesome. Well, I definitely like I've been playing with that kind of stuff. I'm like I really in, you know enjoy doing that. And some of the earlier hand field stuff was. Um, you know, chakra symbols and, and some different, uh, I think there was an eight pointed star. Um, so yeah, it just starts with that. And then from there, I just drew some more. And then I was like, well, I want this, you know, the chakras in there. And so I drew, you know, drew some chakra symbols and drew some more. And I was like, well, I want the elements of the earth involved in this thing. And so I drew some more and then, it kind of ended up and in between everybody he was consulting the fairies don't worry it's okay the fairies were consulted fully yeah man i was definitely being guided i feel that for sure um you know just looking at it and, and working with it and then little whispers will come in your ear and you know ideas will pop in your head and okay. all right we did this and it was cool yeah so evolve like that you know it's just, it's just like a like a slow drip you know because you start with one thing and you get into something else, and then all of a sudden, it's like a all of a sudden, yeah, slow drip to a waterfall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just kind of cascades. So that was what the drawing ended up being after some time of a process. Yeah. And um, then our wonderful art director Kevin Salvatore yeah, of Robert sad. Barron's Inc. made it digital. And um, at that point, yeah. So at that point, though, all David saw, all Dip saw, all the Soul Lion saw was that and a lot of blah 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 a lot of blah 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 about shock <laughs> so as we're doing this you know we, we were he's like okay i'll draw something up right i believe that's what it was like all right i'll make something and and i think at first we were like well maybe you have something that Who's we sketch? already can use and then like now now let's do it from yeah let's do a sketch right so yeah. is it okay if i share an original sketch sketch or is that like going way too far back you can say no. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. <laughs> like, what's it going to be? I'm so nervous. This was just like the straight up, like, is this the, is this the right direction, right? Because right? you don't want to do a whole painting and then have people be like, no, 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 that's not it, right? So we just he just sent us a sketch, which was, which this was one of them, which I love. I love that trip. I do. I love her. Look oh, at that. Yeah. The roots. And the roots, right? Yeah. Um, Crystal City wow. behind him. Cool, right? And we're like, because we were talking about that. We're like, okay, it's just gonna come, come out of the grid or come out of something, or you know, 
that was that was part of the vision. So we said we dug it yeah. and yeah, right. <laughs> it's like to look back is that the vision is like, oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah, the foundation. Um, yeah. The foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't remember. We 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 maybe spent some some time going back and forth and I don't know. You sent us some more some more things. And it was a process. So you know. Right. Like let's talk about like the process of creating a custom piece. Right, so so um, which you do a lot of, and yes. like, how do you find flow? And the whole time I was kind of conscious about this as we were working with, like, well, I don't want to, like, we had a deadline, right? Or I have a friend in LA, a Rasta friend, he calls it a lifeline. Right, we had a <laughs> lifeline. <laughs> we did have a date where yeah. we kind of needed to to get it going so we could get it all happening. Yeah. Um, right. We don't want to say too much so either because. Also, you know, us being artists, recognizing you being an artist, sometimes yeah. you want to be like, dude, draw this, what the heck, blah, 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 blah. You want to <laughs> have space for art to come in and, and come through you, you know, and you, know, you have to trust the artist that you're working with, too. So there's a lot of, like, openness left to it, too, I think. We were like, yo, Dip, we got this idea, blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, but do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is that when you have, like, you know, when you have a date that you have to get get things done, um, but you're also trying to to keep in your artist flow, like how do you how do you find? Uh, have you gotten better at that? Is that something that's challenging, or do you have ways to kind of deal with that? Um, yeah, I think I I probably have gotten better over time, and just with more experience and more custom work. I've done and communicating with clients from you know all um, aspects of you know that artistic commission custom style. Um, but uh, yeah, it's always an interesting process, and every each one is different. And you know, I'll learn more about <clears throat> what works best for me through each you know one I do, and you know they always. They always turn out um, very unique because it's, you know, a combination of, you know, the client's ideas and then my idea and then bringing that to life. So, you know, I might not have normally painted anything like that or designed anything like that. So it's always a good exercise and, you know, sometimes a, a little bit of a challenge to kind of bring, you know, the multiple minds or ideas together to kind of, you know, create the one, the one vision, <laughs> the crystal vision that <laughs> you want to align. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you want For align. sure. Uh, For sure. But I stay, I stay open to, you know, whatever is asked or whatever the, found, you know, the idea, the foundation idea is, and, you know, just do my best to bring that to its fullness, so. It's a fun oh. process. <laughs> yeah, totally. When I never really see, I mean, I don't know because you might have things that you don't post, but um, are you when you're doing custom pieces, are they pretty much everything that I've seen that you've posted on online seems to be um, very much represent your your style. You know, I, like I have some artists that do a lot of custom pieces, but they're like, it's not their favorite, you know, they might um, do something that's totally out of their realm or their style. Like, are you pretty like, pretty much like, do do what you're in line with? Uh, at this point, yeah. I don't water down my yeah. work for anyone anymore yeah. or change it. At this I point, don't. there's no need to, because, you know, if that's not what they're looking for, then you know, there's plenty of other artists that can accommodate. So totally not like, you know, I'm not trying to turn away jobs, but uh, the right, you know, the right people usually find me and seek me out for, you know, the, um, the projects that would fit my work or my work would fit their um, certain type of project or idea. So um, yeah, I, I just kind of 
commit and embrace the kind of art or I commit it to and I embrace the style and kind of art that I want to put out there. So that yeah. always shine through. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And by the way, I just popped up um, Dip's uh, website. So if you're oh, interested yes. in a custom piece. Yeah. Uh, or even just go check out the art and then yeah. you can open it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you've got cool things, right? you got like stickers and t-shirts and all sorts of- Yo, what's of up with those new alien pins, man? Those look sick. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, uh, I uh, just like got, the word last night that they're almost ready to be released. So within the next few weeks, I'm hoping to have some in my hands that I can, you know, start getting them out to people. Oh, yeah. so they look should... huge too. What's up? I'm sorry. They look huge. They look yeah, like they're, they're like about three, three inches, three and a half inches, maybe. So okay. they're like probably like a good, you know, few fingers. So they'll be yeah. like <laughs> Um, but that's been a long process itself uh kind of um that actually started out as a wood cut a piece of artwork the original design for that was cut out of wood and painted by me and um it was sold last year so we had the taken uh like a photo of the artwork itself, the woodcut, and then get it vectorized so it could separate the colors. So it would translate into a pin production, like kind of, I guess, seamlessly or flawlessly. So it was a whole process. It took like the whole summer to kind wow. of get that together. And I still don't have them, you know, in the physical yet. So I just saw the picture, so I was excited and wanted to share that. So that's an upcoming yeah. release. Oh my God, it's so sick. I love seeing all that stuff. Well, I love to see like, you know, like that giant mural behind you, right? Or the big oh. wall pieces you do. But sometimes like you want something that you can like take with you or put in your pocket. And so to have those smaller versions of it, I think are yeah, super, there's some are like cool. stickers Yeah, there. man. Yeah, man. I got some dip stickers kicking around. Ah, nice. yeah, that's, me, uh, that's me, if you can. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Bring it, bring it close. Like, yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, oh cool. that's amazing. It's glowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect, oh, perfect yeah. place. Yeah. Um, Put some pins out. Yeah. Nice. Those are. I have a bunch of stuff on the website, and kind of like holographic prints. I just started making some of these recently. Wow. Those are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I have this logo T-shirt that yeah. recently. So these are on my website. So if people want to represent the Soul Lion, oh, yeah. um, I'm always kind of producing shirts. So uh, there's like an, an older one of that line. Uh, Ooh, I like that one. one. Yeah. And uh, this this one's like earlier this year I put out. Yeah, oh, I love that guy. I love that guy. But, uh, like the creation spirit totem. I've been uh, kind of painting a lot uh, on the street recently. <laughs> Just bring that uh, love energy to the streets, you know. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. 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 What well, I'm just gonna say, um, we got a couple people saying, "Hey, can or we open up for questions?" Um, feel free to comment. Sorry, I forgot, y'all, that I could actually see the comments on this program. But yes, um, can't you can't. I don't know if I could show them to you, but I will if uh, anybody asks a question. I, I will. Said his work's amazing. Yeah, our bass player says your work's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, Robert says the collaboration mural at Harvest Ball was really beautiful and a blessing to watch it come to life. Oh, yeah, thanks. Well, Thank on you, Robert. Costa Rica Thank in you, the Robert. house. What? <laughs> oh, oh, man. The, the little woodcut. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and uh, you know, here's a skateboard. Yeah. I painted this. This is hand painted. So yo, sick. Ah, uh, oh, that's amazing. So awesome. So this is the original one of one. <laughs> nice. 
Um, oh yeah, we got so do some like vinyl records. Oh, I love those. These are, like, yeah. Hand painted. Um, Ooh, let me see that. Buddha. Wait. Wow. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Other way. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, that's beautiful. On a record. <laughs> wow, I love that. So records. Yeah. yeah. It's a good yeah, canvas, right? Like yeah. anything can be your canvas. It's true. Anything, yeah. I just I, I just wanted to show this painting because of uh, the the conversation you had yesterday about um, you know what keeps you in the love vibration. So this is yeah. just kind of opening up to the you know the love within. <laughs> Hell yeah! Wow. I love that. Damn. <clears throat> that that's. Awesome. A uh, traditional canvas. So. <laughs> but not the uh, love. My, my true passion these days is doing the murals and street art, and you know that's that's really where I can I feel like I can fully express you know the energy of this art that I want to put out there because you know the sometimes I do feel a little bit boxed in by you know smaller canvases but they're a good way to kind of express and get and get ideas out so my hopes is to turn all the art i produce into large-scale work um, oh wow everything that you've like ever painted that you're stoked about like make it all big yeah i'll eventually i'll put it all on walls and buildings. <laughs> oh, when are you going to come to our house? They would love you in Simsbury, Connecticut. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. those, those hippies decided to paint their house, the lion on their house, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> I would love I, that, yeah. That would be amazing. That would be so amazing. No, that's, that's, yeah. that's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I like that we get to just like hang out in your studio and see everything that's around. <laughs> A serious this, treat to be able to enter your your realm. The lion, the lion's den. <laughs> yeah, the lion's den. When do you remember when the first time you painted you painted a lion was? Do you remember the first lion that you painted? Um. Well, well I I know I drew and kind of tried to like illustrate lions and animals when I was a kid. Um, probably after I saw the Lion King. You know, when I was young, that like impacted me very deeply, and uh, I was trying to draw them immediately. Um, but there's definitely one painting that really kind of elevated my work. Um, I can, I think I have it here. I can probably grab it. Yeah, go for it. We'll 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 give you some time. We could totally give you some time. We'll watch Bongo Bliss eat for a minute. So, oh, by the way, Bongo Bliss, what do you think about the soup? So awesome. So, did you put what else did you put in it? Um, Nothing. Coconut milk and some sage. Oh, I already put some sage in there. I put some extra sage in. Oh. I didn't know. Uh, sage goes really well with uh, butternut, squash soup. butternut squash soup. And ginger is in here. Mm. And I put all sorts of. My mother told me to put a bay leaf in it, so I I put a bay leaf in. Bang. Yes. So good. <laughs> I was glad I would have had a plan in my head. Actually, my, my buddy that I worked with was like, "What are you gonna cook tonight?" I'm like, "I don't know." He's like, "What? You're cutting it close to the wire, even though." <laughs> and then the um, people we were working for came out with these huge butternut squash, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna have to use the squash." And <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do squash noodles and." Teriyaki, uh, broccoli, and all this stuff, and then he was like, "I'm gonna make soup." I'm like, "That sounds great." <laughs> you came home, yeah. so tired. I'm like, "I'll cook." That's fine. Sometimes was chef a needs day. A, yeah. a day off. Joe Jeffrey says, two sages, two sages on the stage." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Ooh, I'm just watch Naki. That would be good. Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready for that. That would be really good. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh shoot. Wow. Oh, cool. Damn. This that guy is awesome. 2013. Oops. I think. Oh, wait, I wonder. Uh -oh. 
Uh, I mean, I was doing art um, a, definitely for a while before then, but this painting um, really just. To elevate and you know transcend what I thought I was capable of painting. So this is one of my all-time favorite paintings, and I'll probably forever keep this original, just because it, it really uh, it was it's a landmark piece for me. I don't I was I don't think I've ever painted like up until this piece painted a line like this. And I always wanted to, but it just kind of, you know, over the course of a few weeks, it just, it just fell right out of me. It was like, wow, I was a long time coming, but yeah, this piece, the cosmic you soul. One more time, for a moment, you put the whole thing up there. Can you do that one more time so we could see that yeah. um, actually closer? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So sweet. That'll start. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Well, there's some people on Facebook that are like, want to buy it already. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want that one. I want that one. Oh, <laughs> <Nope. man. laughs> well, I have kind of painted this one, you know, in a little bit different style, maybe once or twice that I have sold. So, you know, tell them that you guys can reach out to me and we'll work out something. But Right on. Fortunately, this one has to stay with the lion's, <laughs> the lion's den. Big right. here, at least for now. I mean, That's totally cool. Yeah, Joe, Joe Jeffrey has a special question. Go for it, friend. Um, yes. One day we're gonna we're gonna actually maybe be able to bring people on to ask. But uh, yeah, type it out and take your time typing it out. So we'll we'll wait for you. We'll talk about it as you are. Uh, it's about the lion spirit. Right on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, my it, spirit. I feel like, uh, you know, they're like my uh, soul protectors or like my guardians. So like the more, <laughs> the more I paint them, you know, the more they surround me and just, uh, you know, help me bring forward even more visions. Beautiful. So beautiful. I think he's, I think he's going to go, go deep and on a question. I know this dude's pretty deep, so he might. Yep. Okay. Yes. So the lion's spirit, do you, here I can actually pop it up. Um, do you see it as an element that everyone carries or I'm imagining that he's typing some more or is it something that is more a part of an individual in the, in the community? Is that what we were gonna say? In the up in the community. <laughs> Yeah, so the question being, the lion spirit, do you see it as an element that everyone carries or is it something that is part of an individual in the community? It's a good question. Um, I think, yeah, I think everyone definitely carries it. And, um, but it can also be an individual. Um, I mean, I know I feel it strongly and Maybe others don't feel it as strongly as I do, but it definitely resonates with a lot of people that I've come across. So um, I feel it, it it does exist in you know many people, maybe in different ways, maybe more more obvious in some people. But you know we're all lions and lionesses. So <laughs> yeah, yes, I. So, yeah. yeah, I just I, I've you know for as long as I remember i've always felt drawn to the line spirit <clears throat> so, that's awesome that's awesome yeah i think it, it dwells within us all you know that roaring passionate energy you know so yeah, yeah bring, it right up, on. bring it out <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Out. cool <laughs> right on thank you beautiful i think joe jeffrey you're feeling that lion spirit inside aren't you my friend <laughs> yeah yeah definitely 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 cool so so back to the journey i kind of was excited about that i could actually get pictures on here um so we called david we had a couple conversations he sent us a sketch and then he said 
I've started a canvas. <laughs> and we randomly got pictures of a canvas and then we would get another picture of a canvas. And I'm like, all right, this is coming out cool. And then, I, you know, it was interesting because there, like, we, we all did that. And then there was something about it that we were, all of us were like, that's not it. And it was interesting because like we talked about it individually and, you know, sometimes Bliss and I are always like running by each other, going to do something else. So it's like, hey, Rick, quick, check this out. You know, Dip sent this. And so we're going individually and thinking about it. Like, well, is, is this it? Is this not? Um, but there was just something that that it just wasn't right. And it was it was cool because, you know, being an being an artist, we can all be sensitive. Right. So we were trying to be like, all right, well, maybe it's not the right direction. And, and you were like. You were just so right there with us, you know. There was just you you just you knew you wanted to go some other way. You weren't sure which way, but yeah. it was it was it was just we all knew that it wasn't the there was there was something else that needed to be right. be drawn. Um yeah. And then what was it? And then what was it? So then this is the final thing that we got on our table, yeah. which was this painting. Oh. Boom, shanti, shanti. We're like, oh yeah. I was like crystal vision. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was I believe I was working on that painting for a while and I might have shown you or um <clears throat> I think honestly we saw it on Facebook and we're like, what the heck? That's totally crystal vision. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what? I just, that, looks, that looks like it. That's the right direction. <laughs> that's just yeah. I, I had already been like working on that and I guess I don't know. I was cultivating it for this reason to totally without <laughs> with or without knowing, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. So so that and then I don't know, we, we were showing it to our art director, and you know, he's very much about like um he is originally what what would you say Sal does like packaging and yeah, um, product design product and design. So he's always really encouraging. Yeah, he's very clean. Yeah. So he's always super encouraging us. Well, well, we just need it to be more clean, and so that that's when we consult our, our graphic designer, art director, and what they ended up doing is bringing because well, he wanted to tie the grid right with the art. How with the do music. we make her, you know, How do we make the grid and that come together? Was the question, and we didn't know. We sort of at that point were like, sort of brought it back to you. Like, are you you know, is that something you want to do? Do you want us to do? At that point, you were super involved, I think, in the streets and protests and, um, you know, really bringing your art to the street. So um, right. we totally got that. We totally saw that. And we're like, oh, I don't think he's going to do anything else. <laughs> like he's, no, he's, you really he's, have, well, you were, like, have at it though. He was yeah, like, but he was like, you were creating amazing stuff on the streets and that's where your energy needed to be. Like it was mm. just obvious, you know. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> It, it was just obvious. And that's kind of when. Well, you know, and then you know, we're thinking too is like, okay, so we got the album art, we got the box, we got the grid, we got, you know, there's all these pieces of art. How do you make it all so it's one, mm -hmm. you know, piece together or whatever? And that is when it all came together. La, la, la. Made the vision. Yeah, <laughs> man. And that's the final. That's the final cover. We love it so much. Yeah. We so love cool. it. We love it. We love it. Powerful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and in the background is is the actual grid that but that that you get with the CD that's that's um, birch and and um, burned. Uh, so that is this. Oh, which I'll show that too. That's the vibe. Yeah, love it. Sky Allen photography. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know, to come from searching kind of fairy grids on the internet. <laughs> That's the first thing we sent to him, and then we got here. Mm. So. Wow. What a journey. What a problem. What a journey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. Yeah. Long yeah. Long time coming, you know, for sure. Long time coming. And um, yeah, we're super grateful to have that to be. 
be a huge part of the vision, you know. Um, Honored, yeah. Yeah, be a huge part of the vision. Mm. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. There's a there. Cool. It's been a great vibe. I think it's, you know, a nice friendship we forged from a year ago. Right. And forced it. And then now and it's cool, like, to be able to, like, see on Insta when you pop up. I'm like, bib. I know that motherfucker was up, you know, and whatever, whatever, you know, it's just like, it's, you become like, you know, when, when you, when you work on a collaborative project like this, you know, it brings you together tight in a sort of way, you know what I mean? Um, right. Cool. I, I feel fortunate for the, for the bond that, that's been, been drawn for all of us, for sure. Yeah. I second yeah. that motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we hope to see you in person festival next season or somewhere out in the woods i don't know you know drumming or painting or some somewhere somewhere <laughs> i can't wait to hear some of these songs live like i was just like um i gotta shout out the uh do good that's ah. really oh wow that's this guy. That's that was that was the I one too. Yeah, I really got to have at it. Yeah, play drums, play bass, Did came up with all the cards. <laughs> oh god, yeah, people are gonna enjoy that one. Oh man, yeah, that features our, our one of our best friends, Evan Worldwind, on vocals. Yeah. And this guy Alan makes an appearance on vocals. That, that 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 was the one that was pretty much written like on the spot in the studio, which is wow. really done before and then it was like all these pieces yeah. like, you know all over the place mm -hmm. i had like four different drum beats three different bass lines like mm. you know, all this all this stuff with lyrics and evan did we do and doing this huge spoken word and like went to the producer and we like just sat down like all right i had like a notepad i'm like writing notes all right at what point all right i like this thing this thing and we kind of like together Mm -hmm. That was really cool. <laughs> that was that was mostly just done on the spot. Just yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love that. that was yeah. Cool. That yeah. Was the vibes. That was the vibe. That was the vibe. And yeah. So co, you know, co-creation. Yeah. This is how it all happens. So so we we let everybody know where to go. So the, the your website would be the best place to to check out your vibes and find out more about you. Yeah, for sure. Um, I am on social media, but if the, I do have a web store. The web, the link, I guess, is there on the store. So. VIPSoulLion.com. Yeah, so I usually have whatever I have available for merchandise and some artwork, I'll usually put up there. And, uh, you know, always working on something. I got hopefully a few more murals coming up soon releasing some new apparel items and you know some new prints and pins and all stickers and all that fun stuff and maybe some a couple art shows are you saying some some yeah actually I where are you gonna do that um on halloween night i have uh uh me and the group of local artists we do kind of like a halloween theme show every year oh, nice. so this year we're like all right it's a full moon halloween we have access to a space so we're gonna just do yeah do a lot of cutouts and kind of mm -hmm. hang them all up and basically have like a monster art party hell yeah yeah that yeah. should be a lot of fun so oh, that's awesome. night um, and, uh, yeah so lots lots coming up I you know amongst these times i'm been staying as creative as possible and you know putting out that positive frequency and yeah just hope, hoping to inspire all by uh beautiful one just like last question for we, we always like to um spark creativity in people so if, if somebody's there sitting there and feeling like really inspired but maybe you know has never painted or has never drawn or is feeling some kind of art welling up in inside of them uh, would you have any advice if just somebody just came to you on the street and was like, man, I really want to do like something like how do people, how would you, how would you give advice on like have somebody tap into their creativity if it's like a brand new thing for somebody? Right. Um, well, I, I guess I do get asked that in kind of different ways pretty frequently. Um, so I, I guess I would suggest, you know, just 
if you're feeling that desire to create something, um, just kind of stay open and, you know, don't, don't put, don't put any pressure on that. Um, and don't put any expectations or, you know, hold yourself up to a level like, oh, this has to be in order for me to make anything, it has to be, you know, absolutely perfect or, you know, a masterpiece. Cause you know, that's not really how it works. You just, you gotta just put it, put it down, just lay it down. You know, if that could mean throwing some paint on a canvas, you know, it doesn't have to be anything. Just the, the art of expression is, is liberation. So, you know, you're just, you're liberating your soul. If, you know, you can just kind of express that energy creatively. And so, yeah, I just, I would just say go for it. And by any means, you know, however you can, wherever, whatever your situation is, you know, could even just like <laughs> use nature, you know, whatever's around you to make some nature mandala or, you know, draw, totally. draw a flower, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. throw some painter. I mean, so whatever like is calling you, uh, you know, just, just go for it. Really don't let anyone tell you not to, or, you know, no comparing to others. Cause you know, that'll just create blockages and yeah, we don't need any of that. We just need free flowing yeah. expressions. So yeah, that's stay, right. stay open to that energy and let it, let it go, you know? Yeah, let it go, <laughs> let it flow, see be what, open. See what happens and you know, then you'll just kind of take it from there. So the first step is can be the toughest sometimes. And once you kind of, you know, dip your toes in, like, hey, actually, this is a lot of fun. I'm, now I'm all in, you know? <laughs> so yeah. just get over that initial hump. And yeah, it's it's all, it's always waiting for you too. You know, you just tap right in. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. So it's yeah. always there. <laughs> the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing. Yeah, tap into that vibration. Man, well, we, we give thanks and... Um, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being a part of this this whole project, Crystal Vision, and give thanks for giving us your your time tonight too. My pleasure. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I got my oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> so honored and blessed to be holding this after you know the the journey it, it went on to you know make it here, and I hope it finds everyone's ears you know, beautifully this week as it, it, you know, you rolled out the singles and officially release it. So it's, you know, congratulations all around. You know, uh, I'm very happy for you both mm -hmm. and the band, your bandmates and everyone involved. This is a beautiful project. So I, hopefully everyone gets a chance to hear the full album because it deserves full listen and, you know, the uh, the added elements are, you know, you can't can't go wrong. That's just <laughs> the blood right there. <laughs> so, very very well done. On. Yeah. Right on. Well, well, blessings to you. Give thanks. Um, we're gonna we're gonna close out. So we will see you on the flip yeah, side, Mr. Love, David. Love, bless, bless. The lion. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes. Yeah, so we give thanks. Mr. Dip and um yeah it is he's right the 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 full music's popping off Friday if you have not heard it if you know some of you are on there are the Indiegogo supporters and the Bandcamp supporters you actually can still pre-order if you're ready to hear it tonight and you're like I can't wait oh wait. wait another second or you're somebody who's like not into streaming or you you know totally cool I'm gonna post right now a way to do that um Bandcamp yeah, Bandcamp Crystal Vision. You can actually order the Crystal Grid, the whole package um, with with Dips Dips uh, cover and the grid, and um, you know some crystals, fourteen crystals that are aligned with fourteen songs, and it also comes with a, a guided meditation that actually we spent a lot of time um, putting together. It's called the I Am Meditation yeah. on our Hannah's Field YouTube page and. <clears throat> If you don't have the crystal grid right now, yes. But you're curious about the I am meditation, you yes. could go yes. over to YouTube. You could. And 
have a listen and okay. see us because it's a video and it's also the meditation. So you see us actually using the grid, mm -hmm. get you know, get, get an idea of what we're really talking about. Um, and and, how to, and how you can travel it, into that meditation it. without the grid, without the grid, also. Sure. So, but yeah, it's on YouTube. It's um, under like meditations. I I believe that's where you could find that. Um, but yeah, we're 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 popping out the whole album um, on all streaming platforms on Friday, which is coming up really soon so please uh go to whatever platform you use if you're a streamer and um you know pre-save or check it out just make sure friday that you check it out we we uh are excited to birth this project and um i know mr jet pitts and mr aiden moore and um Massophonic Studio and all our awesome guests, which we'll be talking about this week, we'll be doing some some releases of who's on the album because there's a lot of amazing people. So thanks for tuning in with us. Dig in. And you know what? I, the, the only thing about this show, besides I love to talk to people, but I really I never get to eat my dinner. <laughs> and <laughs> he's always everybody, like, he's like, did you notice good. like the beginning? Okay. He's like off camera. <laughs> like me and David, so you know, poor Dick's like, all right. <laughs> his, talk, it's, his dinner looked really good too, it and did. you know it now he's so gonna bad. be in it. So, right. so that's now what you get happens. to eat your dinner it's, finally. I woke mine up. So that's I'm gonna go eat my soup. Right. Thank y'all for joining us on Dig In, and uh, we will be back soon. Make sure you check uh, Dips Soul Lion Art out right there. DIP Soul Lion. Order Crystal Vision on Bandcamp today if you would like your own crystal grid. And uh, yeah, just make sure you uh, you check out listening to the whole album on Friday. We love you. Much love, much peace. And um, we'll see you on the flip side. Digging in.